you don't ever get to hear that stuff, you know? So we're not doing that for recognition. Everything we do is for our team. We leave it in the water and it's business. Um, and I take that very seriously. I probably run my life like that. And so people would think I'm really intense, but I got things to do and I'm gonna make sure I get it done. Um, it's true what my parents said. <laughs> but you know, it's honestly, like that, those videos, and thank you to everybody that spoke. Um, it's funny, growing up, I looked up to my teammates, you know, and so when you're sitting in a circle and you're getting ready for a team, you look at them, you're like, oh my gosh, I'm like, what these amazing players, you know, and to think you're part of it, it's just such a humbling moment. Um, thank you, USA Water Polo um, and the Hall of Fame committee. I never once thought I'd be up here. Um, so, it, like I said, everything, I guess what I would start out by saying is thank you, Water Polo, for the sport. Um, it has allowed me to travel, gave me, you know, it helped me with my degree at USC, which was a very impactful moment for me. Um, like I said, travel, there's so many things. My teammates, I mean, really, those are the one thing that I hold very close to my heart. Um, some of them are aunts to my daughters, and they continue to be very big impacts in my life. Um, to some of the coaches, I want to point out my college coach, Jovan Bavic, who saw who I was going to be in the sport before I even knew what I was going to be. I was this 6'3", probably just crazy high school girl who, yeah, loved to play water polo and definitely had a personality for water polo because when I got in the water, it was all animal, like, it's ready to go. Just Jess, I know you know what that means. Some people might not understand that, but Jess, I know you know. Uh, but, you know, and that was very impactful for me. Moving on to then the USA national team, Guy Baker, thank you for believing in me from start to finish. Kyle Cobb, Heather Moody. Um, I did break my hand in the semifinal game against Australia, which obviously we had head-to-head -head battles with, um, and they were going to try to do anything possible to try to get us out of that gold medal game, but it's not about me, it's about the team, so in that moment, you know, I get out of the pool, you know, we're, I'm sitting there cheering, and I knew exactly what happened at the moment, and I knew that wasn't going to be the end of my career, um, and I had to be there for my teammates, and, you know, we, it didn't go the way we wanted it to, but we were able to return and definitely got our first gold in London. So it's been a, a tough road, like um, you know, Greg said, but it's something that I hold very dear to my heart. It's something that I don't get to talk about or share very often because it is such a humbling thing that I carry through my life. But I do get to share it with my girls. And I think that's the most important thing for me is being up here, showing them what they can do, um, and just believing in themselves to whatever they wanna do, we're gonna support them and you guys can do it. Thank you.